All right, guys. So one of the things that we want to start off doing, as previously said, is creating our canvas. Once we start our canvas, we want to pick a photo size. I'm going to go with 16 by 24. I want it to be um, I want it to be white and I want it to be the landscape for the advertisement that I'm going to create. I'm going to hit create. And now that I have my advertisement created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new layer. I want to create a background for my layer. So as I'm creating my background, I'm going to select my tool. Here we go. Go to the paint bucket tool, which is the letter G on your keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna pick a color. I'm feeling kind of yellowish today. I like that yellow. I'm gonna go back to my paint bucket tool and fill in my paint color, right? So I want to go in and I want to open up an image in a new tab and begin to cut out that image to put it onto this background, right? So I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to go to my adorable puppy and open my puppy. Now, this is the image that I want to take the puppy out from this image and put him into my image right so one of the things that i want to do is i want to cut out this puppy so i'm going to press l on my keyboard for lasso now i don't want the regular lasso i want a magnetic lasso so that i can really draw around him so i'm going to press l again and I'm going to change it, right? So I have one more thing to say about this. If you ever upload an image and it comes up like this with this square in it, you see a square in the box of the image. What I want you to do is if you see your lasso, And I am just using my magnetic lasso. To just kind of draw around my adorable puppy. And I'm clicking because the image gets a little bit blurry at some points. I'm clicking just to make sure I grab the area that I want and it doesn't get lost.
All right, so this is my image, right? So if I go to the move tool, you see what happens? It only moves my object. It's not doing my crop like I need it to. So I'm going to just hit Control Z to move it back to my lasso select. What I have to do is I have to either right click on here and go to rasterize the smart object and we want to remove it from being a smart object to being rasterized. You can either right click on the layer and that option should come up or what you can do is you can go to layer at the top of your screen, go down and click rasterize and you would just select rasterize right here. All right. So I'm going to click rasterize. And when you see me click rasterize, what you see is that square on the image, it goes away. So now when I hit move, I now have my selection of my dog. And I just hit control Z to hit back so that we can see that. And so when you see, um, do you see how it's like blurring out around it? That's because we are refining the edge. We're showing and I put, I wanted to feather it. So feathering allows you to um, soften what would be the edge that would be blocked out. So now that I feathered, I'm going to hit Control R, Control X or Command X, depending on what you have. I'm going to go into my project. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to click on there. And I'm going to hit Control B. Now I have my, my image in there, right? but I still need to transform. So remember, we want to hit shift and we want to drag out from the corner so that we make sure our puppy doesn't pretty much change too much. So now I have my puppy there. I like it where it's at. I'm gonna hit the check. And I'm gonna confirm the free trans the free transform. And so now I have my puppy there for my ad. So one thing I wanna do now is try to make it look a little bit more realistic, like it's sitting on something along the line. So I'm gonna hit layer I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool I'm going to enlarge my paintbrush clicking up here size and this circle on the screen allows you to see what your paintbrush size looks like so you can see there, we want to go back to black and I want to drag this layer underneath my puppy because I want it to follow behind her. And then I'm just going to start to fill in some areas. Right now, I'm going to change the layer opacity. I'm 
the top so that it gets a little bit more of a shadow. Then I'm going to um, I'm going to come in with another layer and relayer this shadow a little bit more. Because shadows typically fade a little bit more and more the further you go out. So I wanted to take the opacity on that. Bring it down just a little bit more. And then what I would do is I'll sit here and I'll multiply the layer. so that there's a little bit more blending happening. And I could also play around with it. Until I get it to where it works. Mm. Because remember, we want to get the one that works the best out of everyone. The hue actually doesn't look that bad. To me, at least. Let's see what happens when I go So I just merged down so that they could be on the same layer. And what I want to do is I'm just going to come in with my blur tool. And I'm just trying to smudge out a little bit the hardness in there. Give me one second, guys. And pause this. So just going back in and just really trying to blend out these areas.
Now, for some reason, my computer is being really slow with this. And it's not moving as smooth as I would like. So I'm not getting the result I would like because I'm not being able to see it in real time. Like it's frozen right now. Um, so come back. Wish. This would be literally better. What I wanted it to do. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at this because that tool will make my computer act slow. So now we see I don't want to multiply it because it's a plain color background. Now, if it was an image, I would multiply so it can match the pixels and pigments, but I don't want to do that. So you can see what the blending options are so that you can play around with it, become familiar with what goes on in them, darken, lighten. Because for your ad, you may want some of these. So it's important that you just try to see what any of these are, how they work. So now that you see all of them, them dissolve, you can now come in and say, okay, I'm not interested in that. So then you can come next and you can add in your text because we already rasterized. So now you can come in, add in your text. And we're going to say 24 is too small of a font. So we're just going to kind of come up here and say, Animals have rights just like humans do. We just want to be loved, right? So now my my font is not big enough. The max it goes up to is 150. What should I do? Easy. You're just going to go in here and type 250 or a higher number until you see the font that you want. I still want it to be bigger, so I'm going to go with 350. Nope, it's still not big enough. And I think that that size is working somewhat for me, right? So I'm going to kind of go out, look at this, and I'm going to say that's not good enough. So I'm going to change up the size one more time. And I'm going to now look at all the different texts I can choose to see 
what is working for me so is this boy working better animals have rights just like humans um i'll say yeah i like that however notice what happened my whole entire text box got rid of so what do i have to do i have to make my text box bigger and then i have to go to my move tool not to move it After I hit my move tool, I want to go back to the text box to get that last bit of um, wording in here. So if my thing is not panning to be big enough, right? I can easily go in and do this and like change up the ratio size so that my images can be seen. So now that my image is able to be seen, does this font work for me? Does this color work for me? Um, it does for me in relation to what I needed to do. So I say animals have rights just like humans do. We just want to be loved. And so now I'm showing a picture of an animal. I have my text and my graphic and then based off whatever organization you choose you can grab their png um if you type in PETA png on so on um in google you'll be able to grab the PETA png where you can copy and paste it and put it into your work and put their logo in the corner to represent the brand that you're picking so i want you to try to see if you can make the ad as official as possible um as official looking as possible pulling all the different elements that you have. In this, we use the different blending options. We use the um, magnetic lasso tool. We use the text. We're, um, we use the fill, color fill, rasterize. We saw what happens when it's a smart object and it's not letting you pull it. That's when we need to rasterize the object. All right? So you guys should be able to pull all these things together all these elements um your transform tool all those elements to come together to create a ad using and uh, using and building on our prior knowledge thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe